Alright, how you doing good people, man? This is your boy ZTV1990 back with another video and I want to talk about something that's not be discussed too much on YouTube, at least from a social media standpoint that people are actually like covering mental illness. There's not enough of this going on. I feel the church is not really talking about mental illness like that. Because this is, I'm, I'm telling you right now, mental illness, mental illness is a real thing. It really is. And mental illness could cause uh, people to, to, some, to, to become schizophrenic. Some could become bipolar, but it's a real thing. And I feel that as a church, me being a man of God, right, I got to let people know about what's going on and how you can deal with it. You know, you need, you need to be aware of what's going on and why people like Robert Carr here do what they do. And I've been covering mass murderers before on my platforms since I've been on YouTube, even on my previous channel. And it all comes back to the same thing, is that these people were full of demons. These are people that devil didn't lie to. These are people that the demons have put illusions in their head to make them see things and hear things that ain't there or it's not true. Okay? Because this man went into a bowling alley and just shot up the place. In a in an event where you tossing bean bags inside of a hole, like it was a cornhole, cornhole. I found out that's an actual sport. This man shot into a cornhole event in a bowling alley in Maine. The place you would you less let you you would that's the last place you would think of a mass murdering. But y'all need to understand the devil hits when you least expect him to. Man, the devil will use anybody and everyone. He don't discriminate. You really don't. And it's, most of the time, it's the people you don't know. And before we get, before I continue, I'm going to read you a couple of scriptures. Because I need people to understand who you're dealing with. Because the devil comes in all shapes, sizes, and forms. See, the problem is everybody think the devil is, is just on TV. He's just on in music. And he's just on uh, entertainment. Like, no, the devil is everywhere. The devil will attack anybody at any time. Just as God is around, so is the, the devil. Y'all got to understand that. And over the last two years, we've we, we seen many mass murderings. Concert, country concert getting shot up. Jewish synagogue. The church, black people's church getting shot down. Schools, these kids, and it's sad. These kids have to suffer. These people going into these elementary schools, killing these young children. Children at eight, nine years old. They didn't know they was going to die. But let me, uh, this has been weighing on my mind. And before I get started, let me just start with a quick prayer. Oh, dear Heavenly Father, Lord God, anoint my mind and my voice. May this be informative to, to, to the people that's getting ready to hear this, that somebody needs to hear this. Lord, this will help somebody shed light on what's going on and what we need to do, Lord God, to be prepared. Bless me right now and bless the listener and viewer of this video. In the name of Jesus, I pray, amen. Now, in 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 11, and it reads, In order that Satan might not outwit us, for we are not, we are not unaware of his schemes. Read that again. It says, 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 11. It says, In order that Satan might not outwit us, for we are not unaware of his schemes. So that scripture is telling you to be careful what the devil does. He's capable of anything. Now, 1 Timothy 4, chapter 4, verse 1. The Spirit clearly says that in later times, some will abandon the faith and follow deceiving spirits and things taught by demons. A lot of that going on now. And in 2 Corinthians, chapter 4, verse 4. The God of this age has blinded the minds of unbelievers so that they cannot see the light of the gospel that displays the glory of Christ. Who is in the image of God. People, when it comes to uh, people like Robert Carr, we got to reach out more. We got to really evangelize. We got to really pray for them. I told you, my mental illness is a real thing. This man had demons. And the demons told him that these people at this Cornhurst convent that he plays with in a league, that they're, they're working against him. They're the enemy. That man took the point of something. This is a military guy. This man served in the army. This man took an oath that he would protect the American people. 
No matter whether he on land, sea, or in the air. He, he, he made a, a sacred vow. When you go into the military, whether whichever branch you're joining or a part of, you take an oath that you'll protect Americans. You're not going to kill innocent people. But the devil doesn't care. These demons, don't, they don't care, y'all. They don't. They don't care who they hurt or who they harm. And they use people such as Robert Card to cause destruction. Because what is the devil here to do? Steal, kill, and destroy. Now, y'all can say what y'all want about the hip-hop industry and the entertainment. They're not telling nobody to go inside of a bowling alley and start shooting up the place. They're not telling people to go get an AR and start taking your anger out on somebody you don't like. These artists are talking about the stuff they went through. So you can't blame this on rap music. You can't blame what he did on hip-hop. You can't. And this is why I be trying to tell people. This is why I defend people like Jay-Z and Beyonce. Because they're not responsible for this. What's going on now is this is real life. I live in reality, man. I don't live in this. I don't be watching TV all day. I don't have that type of time. Folks that's watching this video, you need to be prepared for this. Because somebody like Robert Carr can, come, can attack a place near you. You could be in a classroom. At a barber shop, masseuse parlor. We seen a masseuse parlor get shot up just three years ago. You could be anywhere, and somebody walk in there where they got a Glock 19, AK 47, Uzi, or whatever, and just start shooting up the place. These shootouts don't just happen in the hood and on a block. Now it's regular civilians. Again, y'all, this is real stuff that's going on here. These are things that need to be talked about. So look at that. Military weapons instructor. So this man taught people in the military how to use guns, ammunition. So he was an ex expert at that. Again, he, this man was trained to kill. Okay? But treated for mental illness during the summer of 23. So that was actually this summer. This summer he was treated. Let's look at some more stuff. So this was in Maine, Lewis the Maine. History of military service is a firearms instructor, has a mental health history, including a state this summer at a mental health facility. So this man was fresh out. Y'all, this man was unstable. Anyway. But again, he had demons. Y'all gotta, we gotta pray against mental illness. We really do. And it's also reported down here, he's 40 years old. Look, considered armed and dangerous. Again, this man had real issues, real problems. Now, this is obviously somebody who was never on, uh, nobody was talking to him about God. He was never a disciple. And nobody reached out to him. Nobody invited this man to church. See, if somebody would invite this man to church, and this man had hands laid on him, this, this probably would have been different. But this is, again, man, people, man, that's watching at home. We got to do our part. We got to hit the streets. We got to tell others about Christ. Because this man killed people, I think around 13 people didn't know they was going to die. Are gone. There's people are dying, not knowing about heaven, not knowing about God. There's a God that love them. This man here needed to know that there's a God that love him up above. And there's a God that I understand. Jesus could have healed this man's mental illness. Your Yahweh, Yahshua could have healed him. But nobody told this man about the goodness of God. Thus, this man is angry. So whenever God is not around, that's when these demons attack you. Just look at this picture here. This is like somebody that's happy. This is like the last person you would even think about doing that. But again, ain't no telling what this man was going through. And see, it's bad enough as it is being in the military. These people already go through a lot of things. They see a lot of stuff. This is why I thank these army soldiers every day. I see them for, uh, for, uh, for their service because they go through a lot of stuff. They got a lot of blood in their hands. Look, this man was always a great fisher. He loved to fish. And he loved um, corn tossing. But look at this. All the victims this man killed. Look at that. 18, no, it was 13. It was 18. We got 18 people. Sorry, it wasn't 13. It was 18. But look at that. Again, these people were bothered. God told me these people weren't, weren't messing with him. They weren't bothering that man. They wasn't saying nothing negative against that man. And he kills him. Again, these are demons we dealing with, y'all. Again, these demons, these devils, ain't on TV screens. They not. Yeah, you see it. You see what's going on, on TV, but these demons attack everyday people. Again, people, we got. We need to really be prayed up here.
And I'm telling this because I love you. But this is real, man. We need to be in our word every day. We need to be praying every day. I spend at least an hour a day every morning I wake up praying to the Heavenly Father. I have a, a relationship with him. And God told me to do a video like this. Because this is real, man. Again, we got all these schools getting shot up. Santa Fe, Texas. El Paso, Texas. All these schools. Memphis, Tennessee. And that was a, that was a woman from the LGBTQ. All that rights that protected her, and she still took her anger out on that school. Why is that? Or is it because the Holy Spirit was in that place? And God is preparing people for his army. The devil didn't like that. Yo, y'all got to say, man, Satan is everywhere. He uses people like Robert Card to kill innocent people such as what you see right here on the screen. Y'all need to understand that, y'all. I'm going to tell you something. That some of these, uh, these social media conspiracy theories, some people that call themselves children of God are not telling you. They're not covering these. They're not going to tell you about stuff like this. Don't get me wrong now. I mean, everybody, it's good to have a relationship with God. I understand that people are trying to expose the devil, but you got to talk about things that matters. These are these are people who got family, and these families are destroyed that he ruined. There are mothers and fathers right now, brothers and sisters, that's, that's still grieving over their loved ones being killed by this man who committed suicide, by the way. Went out the coward's way. No, it's most of them commit suicide because they're a coward. They don't want to face punishment. The devil tells you to commit suicide. They don't got to face what they got coming to them. Coward. Well, I'll tell anybody, it's not worth committing suicide. It's really not. But, again, these people have demons. And we got to pray against schizophrenia. We got to pray against bipolarism. We need to be praying against mental illness. Okay? We need to stop worrying about the entertainer. Stop worrying about what Drake is doing and worry about somebody like Robert Card in your neighborhood. Who is mentally unstable. Who nobody is reaching out to. Nobody is passing out a track. Nobody is laying hands on. And this has been my point I've been trying to make. This is why I do my YouTube videos. I talk about things that need to be talked about. Because again, there's a robber card in every city. In America especially. There's just a robber card out there. Of people like him. So I, I tell y'all that to say, man, you, you need to be praying up. We in the last days. It's going to be a lot more. This ain't going to be the only time. And I've told, I said this a long time ago on my YouTube channels. My first one. These mass murderers, like what happened with Dylan Rupert, it's not going to be the only one. I hate to say that. And I'm not trying to wish no death on nobody. But there's a lot of other people that's going to get attacked like this. And another thing we need to be praying for too, we need to watch out for these borders. Because ain't no t these some of these people that's coming in here, around his age, military men that they might be who might also have demons inside their head and they snap like this man did. This man obviously snapped. So he was, and he even wrote a suicide note that he sent to his son. It's shocking. Imagine how this man's uh, children are feeling right now. How his own family got to go through this. But this is what the devil does. So again, people, man, we need to, this is the things we need to be uh, praying about. These are things we need to do videos on. We need to pray against mental illness. I'm being very dead honest. If a doctor tries to say you're mentally ill, you need to bind that out in the name of Jesus. If a psychiatrist tries to diagnose your own children, son, daughter, that they're mentally ill, bind that out in the name of Jesus. No, the devil uses mental illness as a, as an excuse to have somebody like Robert Card. Buy a, a, get an AR and start open fire on innocent people. That's what the devil does. And remember, God is a healing God. The Holy Spirit can heal. The Holy Spirit cures. Again, if this man was being prayed on and people came to the house reaching out to him, then maybe things would be different. But the problem with the church, we're not doing enough. And I showed you that already. You got people like Untamed Truth that rather go after Kurt Franklin. That's not even an enemy. But you don't see Untamed Truth going out here praying for people like Robert Card. You notice that, right? He don't rebuke them. On this channel, you don't see this man going out there, a so-called preacher going out there uh, 
talking, praying over people like Robert Card. He don't. You want to keep tap, uh, attacking a celebrity. It's crazy. But I'm not, I, I'm, I'm going to end the video right here. I'm not going to take too much time on it, but y'all need to know what's going on. Mental illness is something used by the, by demons. These are devils. This is the devil trying to, trying to make somebody crazy on purpose. No, you're not crazy. You're not a schizo. You're not bipolar. You're none the devil tells you you are. Jesus is a truth. He's a light. And he can cure you. He can heal you. Jesus is love. Maybe this man wasn't getting enough love. Right? One thing I have done, and this especially with this year too, is I've evangelized. I go out there. I hit the streets. I just posted it on my social media. You go to my Z, the preacher on my TikTok, you'll see it. I posted videos on there of me actually out there telling people about God, giving people a chance to get saved. Nobody told this man about the sinner's prayer. So the people that's in these uh, insane asylums, we need to pray for them. Pray for the ones that's in jail. Because me personally, I don't want to see nobody go to hell at all. I don't. But this stuff right here is inexcusable. And God's and judge this man. God's gonna judge everybody accountable. Just know that, y'all. The church needs to be doing a lot more now. And you need to stop wor wor worried about what's on TV. And pray for the ones that's mentally sick in the head. That's what we need to be doing. Even a kid in El Paso, Texas, right? Again, his parents weren't around. The grandma had to raise him on his own. He could have had mental illness. The devil put stuff in people's head. The devil's illusionist. Make you see things ain't there, hear things ain't there. And we need to be binding that stuff out in the name of Jesus. And you're allowing Yahshua's name, the Holy Ghost. We need to be praying. We, that means in tongues, praying. That type of prayer. Again, church people in the whole era, like the Marcus Rogers, right? Nick Jones, all these guys that do these ratchet videos. This is things y'all need to be doing videos on. You need to be praying against mental illness. Isaiah Robin and Kieran the Light. That's doing an agenda. That's trying to, that's make you believe that the hip hop industry are, are the ones behind all this. No, we need to, no. These are things we need to be praying about. These are things we need to be talking about. We need to do our part to reach out to people such as Robert Card. So, so these things can be prevented. Because real talk. Now is not the time to be worried about a celebrity. Now is not the time to worry about if a game is scripted or not. These are things we need to be worried about. So that's it. You know, I'm finna, uh, this is the video. I'm not gonna spend too much time on it, but y'all need to know why these mass murders are happening. That, this is all the results of mental illness. That the devil is prescribing to people to make them seem crazy. A man like this here who seems happy, right? Happy and nice. You know, Fisher and all that could turn into this. Straight monster. Now, that was a demon. This man was full of demons. That's all that was. It was the devil. Let's call it for what it is. I'm just glad that he didn't go in. Because this man could have done more damage. That man had rounds. I'm pretty sure he had a lot more rounds in the chamber. That man had access to all kinds of uh, military weapons. I'm just glad that man didn't go to all the other Bowling Islands and do more damage. But 18 people, man, it, again, it's my heart goes out. Yeah, I pray for these people. Look at that. His former wife and teenage son. Look at that, man. His own son. This man here now got to live with the fact that his daddy was a murderer. Imagine how he feel right now. Yeah, y'all, we need to be praying for this family. We need to be praying for this man's um son and wife. Because they are they, they going through it. It's sad. Imagine what they going through right now. They pain. This is who this is who I'm praying for. My prayers goes out to this family here, the Carr family. And not just for his um son and, and wife, neither. For that man's brothers and sisters. The man's parents who may still be alive, his aunt and uncles. This woman's husband killed 18 people. Now she got to live with that. His son, this, this, this young man here got to live with that for the rest of his life.
that will score anybody to know that their father, their their parent is a murderer. And now you got to go through life with people judging him because this man took away 18, he killed 18 people. Those people got families too that's angry and looking for answers. And he got to live with them coming after him. As a result, they see that they got they were hiding. The man was crazy. He was a monster. Imagine what they were going through at home. She trying to talk to me. He ain't listening. I'm just glad he didn't kill these two. Because no, sometimes, man, some people kill their own family close to them, man. They very dangerous. That was a homicidal demon that destroyed this family and these other families. So, again, y'all, we need to be prayed up. Seriously. And I got family that are schizophrenic. I got a cousin. I'm not finna name, mention his name, but he's in Chicago. And I love him dearly. I pray for him every day. I, I, I stay praying for my Chicago family. As bad as it is, Chirac is, is horrible. And again, we need to be praying for that too. Like This man had a family, man. Look at that. And he does something like this. But again, it's demons. It's, it's, it's a devil. It's what it is, man. These are real demons. Okay? But anyways, y'all, that's it. That's the video, man. Like, subscribe, comment, and I appreciate my 100 subscribers. Thank you, y'all, all so much for having me reach 100. I know it's not much, but I'm grateful. Because before I could get blessed with 1,000 subscribers or more, I need to be happy for, for the ones that God gave me. I do this for you. And I do these videos to inform you of what's going on. And I do take requests. So if you want me to do another video, whichever else, put in the comment section. Y'all take care. Stay blessed.